Shalom to everyone out there. Again, my name is Damian Power from YeshuaSaysAll.com. I uh, just want to do a quick video today. Um, and I'm, it's titled, My People Perish for Their Lack of Knowledge. This is part one called Calafia. And I'm going to be doing a, a series on the things that we do that Yahweh says my people perish for their lack of knowledge. Anyway, um, I'm a servant of Yeshua. I'm here to expose the darkness with the light of Yeshua, who is the way, the truth, and the high, the life. The world has forgotten how holy, Kodesh in Hebrew, the Elohim of Israel is. And everybody has, not everybody, but the world has this hyper grace mentality that once saved, always saved. Otherwise, why would Yahweh say that my people perish for the lack of knowledge? It's not true. We are moving into a generation just like the days of Noah, and it's time for the world to wake up and repent. Uh, a couple days ago, I was scrolling through uh, this magazine at someone's house, and I stumbled across something, and it made me realize how blinded we've come as a society and as believers, and how uh, Satan uses tools to desensitize us to paganism and to accept things in our homes and in our bodies. We see logos all the time in stores, but oftentimes these artists uh, or companies borrow them from demons. We think that they're so smart that they've come up with all these ideas from these marketing strategies, but they've actually borrowed it from another source. And as we know in Ecclesiastes 1.9, Solomon in all his wisdom says, that what has been seen, what we shall be, and what has done, what shall be, has, excuse me, what's been done has been done before. There is nothing new under the sun, okay? And this is exactly what I want to show you right here. Okay, bear with me as I pull this up. Look at this logo right here. Calafia, it's on this uh, almond drinks, on their coffees, on on the milks and everything like that, okay? Uh, it's out there in all the stores, and it's right in front of our face, right? So what does Calafia stand for? Who is she? Who is she? All right, she is a fictional character introduced by a writer named Garcia Rodriguez de Montalvo in his popular novel entitled Las Sergas de Espaladain, written around 1500. In the novel, Calafia is a pagan warrior queen who ruled over a kingdom of black women living on the island of California. Well, look at that. California pops up again, just like it did in the previous videos, uh, previous video that I did about uh, them teaching your children about gender identity and the demonic gateway for uh, the fallen angels in, in California um, for the movie industry. So coincidence, right? Anyway, we, we often eat and drink things that may, that may be attached to the curses of a pagan deity, and we don't even know it. This is the trick of the one called the devil, the old serpent of old. He hides in plain sight, desensitizes us, and we begin to accept things without doing the research on it first. And for this reason, Yahweh says in Hosea 4, 6, my people perish for their lack of knowledge. Paul spoke about not eating meat sacrificed to idols. He said, if you know that the meat has been sacrificed to an idol, then don't eat it. But if you don't know, then eat it without raising questions. But the question is, how about these items that we do know about, okay, these marketers of this world are plastering the faces, logos, and words all over their products 
okay? So it's not like we don't have the ability to research these things on our phones that we carry with us everywhere we go. People get on Facebook. People get on all these other uh, social networking sites, but don't look up the meaning of the faces and the words and logos of the products that we consume, okay? These demons are real. And they will they will wreak havoc in your life, just like a, a familiar spirit, which I'll be doing um, you know, a video on that later on, Elohim willing. But they can attach themselves to you and you don't even know it. Okay. Yah Yahweh spoke about spirits and uh Hosea chapter five, verse four, saying, Their deeds do not allow them to return back to their Elohim. For the spirit of whorings is among them. They do not know Yahweh. Just because you don't see the demons doesn't mean they don't exist, okay? We don't see the wind when it blows, but we know it's there. It exists. Our eyes burn when you cut that onion. You don't see that vapor coming out of it, but your eyes sure burns. So it exists just because you don't see it. Why else would the makers of these products use these pagan deities? Okay. Judas, who betrayed Yeshua, had Satan enter into him, and he didn't even know it, or those around them. The only one that knew it was Yeshua. Okay. The makers of these products know what their agenda is. So you have to realize, or do you realize how real Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 through 13 is? Because we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and authorities, against the world rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in the heavens. Because of this, take up the complete armor of Elohim, so that you have power to withstand in the wicked day and having done all to stand. The whole armor of Yahweh is his word and abiding and following his son Yeshua and staying away from these the pagan things of this world and not giving Satan a foothold to enter into your life by these spirits, okay? The spiritual realm is more real than the air that we breathe. Technically, we are the invisible ones. So we must be on guard of Satan's devices and beware of the things that we consume, okay? So I pray that this teaching has been a blessing to you. I pray that Yahweh and the Son, Yeshua, continue to bless you. I thank you for tuning in to this video, and I pray that you will share this with all the people who are unaware of this and that you will clear out some things in your life um, that maybe you aren't aware of. Please subscribe to the channel to Yeshua Saves All. And again, this is just one video, uh, part one of uh, My People Perish for the Lack of Knowledge, says Yahweh. Again, thank you for listening in and I will talk to you later, Elohim willing. Elohim bless you.